Hey everybody, welcome to Shackman Gaming and welcome to Far Cry 5 New Game Plus Edition. I'm gonna play the entire game again in New Game Plus mode. And what this essentially means is we get to redo all the main story missions, we get to keep all of our gear and our perk points and whatnot, and it's gonna be less grindy and more fun. Alright, let's go. Yes, uh, we can choose the same kind of difficulty, we're just gonna keep it at normal. And the screen just explains us briefly what we get with New Game Plus. Uh, we reset everything except from character points and perks. So yes, let's uh, let's do this. Montana, big sky country, the treasure state. People got a lot of names for it. I just call it home. Lived here my whole life. Still amazed at how beautiful it is. Maybe that's what blinded us to how ugly the people were getting. Good day to you, brother. You don't understand. No one took these groups seriously. They were different. Religious. Militant. It was a goddamn cult. The collapse is upon us, my children. They started buying up every farm for miles. Then the radio station. Not long after that, they even had the fucking cops. Their own sovereign religious state built right here under our noses ain't no one coming to help us this government can't do shit we're on our own Fans, we save those lost souls whether they want to be saved or not people don't want to believe groups like this exist people are scared man some will wish to harm us some will wish to destroy all that we have built here together and some will betray us We don't know what he's capable of. How? Who? Their leader. Joseph Seed. They call him the father. And those in the outside world are blind. They do not believe. They have no faith. But I will make them see. That's a big compound. Oh my Jesus. This is a bad idea. Last chance, Marshal. <sighs> We're going in. Set her down. 
And Pratt reluctantly complies. <laughs> oh man, what are we in for? Look at all these armed guards. Dispatch, you still there? Yes, go ahead, Sheriff. You don't hear from us in 15 minutes. Send in everyone. Call the goddamn National Guard if you have to. Over. Yes, sir, Sheriff. I'll be praying for you. Now listen up. Three rules. Stick close. Keep your guns in your holsters. And let me do the talk. Got it. Got it. Rookie. All right, everyone. Stay sharp. Let's go. All right, let's go arrest Mr. Joseph Seed, religious cult leader. He'll be in the church. Stick close. It's probably not gonna happen. <laughs> These folks can spook easily. Rook, on me. Stay loose, huh? What are they doing here? Be calm. Stay calm, everyone. Just go about your business. This doesn't concern you. Sheriff, I don't like this. Everything's fine, Nancy. Everything's just fine. Jesus Christ. You're wearing badges, aren't you? Yeah, but they don't respect badges much out here. They'll respect a 9 millimeter. Not every problem can be solved with a bullet, Marshal. Good dog. Unfortunately, I cannot move any faster than this. Let's test the game, letting me enjoy the views, I guess. Us in peace. Calm down. Father will do something. We can't let... Oh, Marshal. When we do this, we do it my way. Quietly. Calmly. You got it? Fine. Hudson on the door. Watch our backs. Don't let any of these people get in. Rookie? On me. And you? Just... Try not to do anything stupid. Relax, Sheriff. You're about to get your name in the paper. His voice is weird, the marshals. Yeah, sure, I'll be fine. <laughs> you can feel it, can you? We are creeping toward the edge. And there will be a reckoning. That is why we started the project. Because we know what happens next. They will come. They will try to take from us. Take our guns. Take our freedom. Take our faith. And we will not let them. Sheriff, come on along. We will not let their greed, or their immorality, or their depravity hurt us anymore. Sheriff, you're not There will be no more thing. suffering. Oh, fuck it. Joseph C. I have a warrant issued for your arrest on the suspicion of kidnapping with the intent to harm. Now, I want you to step forward and keep your hands where I can see them. You go back to where you came from. There they are, the locusts in our garden. See, they've come for me. They've come to take me away from you. They've come to destroy all that we've built. We knew this moment would come. And we've prepared for it. Go. Go. God will not let them take me. It's not gonna be God, but... <laughs> He's probably right. I saw when the Lamb opened the first seal, and I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts say, Come and see. Step forward. And I saw. And behold, it was a white horse. And hell followed with him. Rookie, cuff this son of a bitch. With pleasure. God will not let you take me. Somehow, I know that's Rook, true. Put the cuffs on him. That's his family. The best thing to do is to walk away. 
by the way, in the background, that was his family, which are the bosses in this game. Let's go. Now, let's see how this arrest attempt goes. Marshal, take point. We're going right. On it. Take a look at the, the things he has tattooed on his back, by the way. It's some... Uh, it's a few of them classic sins. I think gluttony is at the... Uh, at his upper body. It gives you a glimpse into how they deal with sins, what their religion is all about. Uh-oh. First shot fired. Never ends up good. Now we made it to the helicopter. Question is, how far further? Can we make it? Yeah, somebody climbing into the helicopter blades definitely takes the helicopter down with it. Guess who survived this the best? I see. Everything is upside down, and somebody is missing from their seat. Of course, the weird psycho would be the one to uh, <laughs> come out unscathed out of this. And it's our job to put him back into that seat at some point. Here comes the first plot twist, by the way. This badge wants to hear from us. So listen to this conversation. Dispatch. Oh my god. Everything is just fine here. No need to call anyone. Yes, Father. Praise be to you. Bam. He has everybody in his pockets. No one is coming to save you. I don't need anyone to save me. Father! Man, I sounded creepy there. <laughs> God has kept you under the shadow of his wings. Everything is unfolding according to God's plan. I am still here with you. The first seal has been broken. The collapse has begun. And we will take what we need. And we will preserve what we have. And we will kill all those who stand in Come our Come on, guys, wake up. And these need to go. Harbingers of doom will see the truth. We gotta get out of here. Begin the reaping! We gotta get out of here. Come on. Okay, she's gone. Jesus Christ! Get the fuck out of here! Let them burn. All right, let's get out of this place. If a bullet doesn't get us a fire wheel. Come on, you stupid belt. And 
Now let's make like Gandalf and run. Ah, oh, where should I go? I'm going the right way. Man, it's been so long since I've played this part of the game. Let's go over here, maybe. I'm supposed to find a house. Yeah, there it is. Okay, cool. We're going the right way. I wonder what would have happened if I went the other way. Would I just hit a dead end or something? Are they behind me? I think we've lost them. Okay, enemies. Which we can tag. I have these binoculars that tag enemies. If I approach somebody from behind, we can do this. Let's now equip ourselves. Uh, let's get some quick ammunition. Oh, maybe a baseball bat, why not? And a med kit. Uh, let's get the handgun out now. Should probably keep going. Our objective is to flee. I don't think I have to go fast though now. Let's try and take this slow. Oh, interesting, we could. Hello? Anyone hearing me? Hello? It's Ferg. Hello? I think I lost him. I see a, a trailer nearby. Next to a long bridge. I'm gonna try and get inside. If anyone's still out there, listen. If anyone's still alive. Alright, that was the marshal. Signaling us from some trailer, apparently, so let's go meet up with him. Man, I cannot get over the marshal's voice, by the way, how thin it sounds. Full moon tonight. Not a good sign. Oh, ammunition? Yeah, give me that. Man, I wish I had my regular guns right now. Sorry, I thought they got you. Come on, come on. Come on, check the room, Rook. You haven't checked the house yet, man? Oh, Jesus, I had no idea. Fuck. We're putting this whole family away. All of them. Fucking lunatics. And by that you mean I'm putting them away and you are just watching. <laughs> we need to have this rookie. First things first, gotta arm ourselves. Here. All right, here's what we're gonna do. There's a road out there. We're gonna take it, we're gonna head northeast. It's probably only a few hours back to Missoula. And then, we're gonna come back here with a goddamn National Guard and we're gonna take out the rest of these. Check inside the trailer. Okay. Shh. Well, first step, we gotta survive this trailer, so. Okay, let me quickly mark any enemies, though, first. Okay, now we know where you are. Okay, next crop. Oh man, there's a lot of them. Oh, okay. Wow, that was a bad shot. <laughs> Are you down, Sheriff? Jesus, man. Oh yeah, okay. Can I do this? Yeah, through the door, nice. <laughs> Okay, come on, get up, man. Do something. I am doing. Get up. Jesus. Oh, I was certain that explosive barrel will get them. Oh, I'm in the co-drivers. Okay, let's go. Move it. Oh man, my health bar. Jesus. Go, go. Up ahead. Watch it. Take him out. Okay? Nice work back there. I'd be dead if it weren't for you. 
We got to get back, but we got to be smart. We don't know who we can trust. Fucking Nancy. Yeah, oh, no. man, that Nancy. Oh, no. They got the roads blocked. Hold up! Now let's duck back into the car. We don't have to kill everybody. Just enough to not get uh, hit too much. We gotta get off the main road. Okay, I don't need to shoot them. Oh, I wanted to shoot the barrel. There's a case of dynamite in the back of the truck. Use it. Ah, uh, where is it? Okay, ah. Uh, Yeah, I cannot get the car though. It's a bit difficult to aim from this thing. Okay, let's use a medkit now. Can I even take that down? Thank you, Sheriff. It's nice to feel my work is being appreciated. <laughs> Whoops, I think I killed a civilian as well. Okay, he's out of the way. Oh man, come on, we didn't get him. Oh, no. yeah, I need to get him. No, 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 no. At least a gunner. Jesus okay, end of the line. Let's go for a swim. Can I get out, please? This is not healthy. Oh man, everything is fading. But we made it, of course. We are the hero, after all. Where is the sheriff? Not the sheriff, the marshal. Whoops. This one needs a little thing. Take him to the pilgrimage. Find another one. Keep searching. All right, he seems friendly. My children. My children. We must give thanks to God. The day I have prophesied to you has arrived. Everything I told you has come true. The authorities who tried to take me from you are now in the loving embrace of my family. Save for one. Well, he saved me, but he doesn't really trust me yet, I guess. Come on, man. I'm a man of the law. Release me. You know what that shit means? It means the roads have all been closed. It means the phone lines have been cut. It means there's no signals getting in and out of this valley. But mostly it means we're all fucked. Yeah, I figure that one. Goddamn collapse. They all think the world's coming to an end now. They've been waiting for it. For years. Waiting for somebody to, to come along and fulfill their prophecy. and Kick off their goddamn holy war. 
Well, you sure as shit kicked. Smartest thing for me to do would just be to hand you over. Come on now. You won't do that. <laughs> cut me free or just cut me? Okay, cut me free, I guess. <laughs> Thankfully. Get out of that uniform. We need to burn it. There's some fresh clothes there. When you get changed, you come and see me. We'll see if we can unfuck this situation. Curiously enough, he has clothes, but I'm playing a woman, by the way. <laughs> Does he have clothes for a woman? Who knows? Let's go get some clothes then. Oh, new clothes. Interesting. All right, let me come up with something interesting here and I'll be back in a sec. And how do you like me now? <laughs> I am Aya. Uh, in, for those of you who haven't played Assassin's Creed, this is a character from Assassin's Creed uh, Origins, I think. Yeah, it's gotta be Origins. In any case, I'm not going to change another thing. Let's play it like this. This will be fun. <laughs> oh no, come on. Okay, let's go. The bad thing is we never get to see our character, which is so not cool. I mean, really. I have this outfit and I cannot see it. Okay, okay, this is a message on a loop. Let's disregard it and go. Now let's go straight to our leader here. You, there? you can see these are the members of the family. He is the father. El numero uno. You can pause and read, by the way. I'm going to flash every text I come across. You can uh, do this at your own leisure, though. Do not want to slow the action down. This is Jacob C., the soldier, one of the brothers. John C. the Baptist, probably the first one we're gonna take down. And my favorite is Faith C. the Siren. She is trippy. Well, everybody's actually trippy, you're gonna see, but Faith is especially trippy. I cannot open this. Alright, so how are we gonna do this? Sure. introduce myself back there. Most folks call me Dutch. I've been trying to piece together what's happening up top. It ain't good. Little I can gather is that your partners are alive. For now. Seems they've been split up. Each one handed off to a different member of Joseph's family. You want them back, I get it. I get it. I got friends that have been taken too. Problem is, there ain't no help coming. Nobody knows what's going on here, and they won't know until it's too late. There's got to be people out there willing to fight back against this cult. We just, we need to show them how. We need to build us a resistance. So the first thing we're going to do is get control of this island. Once we got some breathing room, we can figure out what's coming next. There's a gun and a map in the safe over there. Take them. I'll give you a call on your radio once you get your bearings. Cool. So let's get the gun and the map and be on our merry way. By the way, I apologize beforehand if I have to cut some music. Oh, it's back. What does this say? Oh, we get our old weapons back. Yeah, sure. Cool. So let's see. Do I have my weapons back? In any case, I was saying I um, apologize beforehand if I have to cut out some music and it sounds weird because this game is full of copyrighted music, man. I don't know what the devs were thinking. But anyway, that will not spoil our fun. Not one bit. And now we get to the outside world. Man, Far Cry worlds are so beautiful. I've got cameras set up all over this island. I'll keep an eye out for anything useful. 
For now, head south and take out any culture you see. All right, head south then. Okay, so this is a straight line towards here. This is Dutchess Island. We need to get off of it. And help any folks in need, would you? Dutcha. Oh man, there's lots of things I need to explain to you because the game is populated with all kinds of symbols here. This green thing means there's treasure. So if I free this guy, he will reveal to me one of those uh, treasure locations. Thanks for saving my sorry ass. These loony fanatics are out of control. If you want to protect yourself, I think there's a prepper stash near the boathouse. Should have some good gear squirreled away. Prepper stashes, that's the word I was looking for, not treasures. <laughs> Alright, so can I use... Yeah, I can use... Oh man, I missed this. <laughs> Such a nice rocket launcher. I had to play the uh, most of the game with an unguided rocket launcher, but this baby... Ooh, okay, this packs a punch. Anyway, let's get going now. Objective being liberate Dutchess Island, you can see in the upper left corner. Actually, it doesn't really mean liberate the island, it just means escape the island, but... I don't know, I'm just gonna roll with it. Oh, okay. Outpost, where is that? Straight ahead, nice. Now, I'm gonna be looting a lot of houses, but of course I'm gonna cut things out just so you do not get bored. But maybe in this first episode, I'm gonna let you see just to get the atmosphere of how things are done here. Okay, let's go the other way. I wanna attack him from behind and maybe... Now that this is a quiet time, maybe I can show you a few tricks. Alright, look at one of the tricks. I can attract the enemies by throwing stones. Who's there? Oh, everybody heard that? No, I don't want that. I just want one guy. Should we actually just kill them? Because this guy... Quick death with One bullet per person. That's my style. <laughs> Quiet and lethal. Oh, that was actually the ranger station. Man, I forgot all about that. And we always get a nice little animation when we free something. I don't know why I love this musical, you know, bit here. Whenever we free something, but I do. Serious. Hey. All right, so we liberated some folks. I just saw the cult grab a guy down by the docks. You help him out, and maybe he'd be willing to pick up a gun and return the favor. Guns for hire. Throughout the game, we can employ companions. Now there are some main companions, like you know. The good guys, the uh, ones that pack a punch, the ones that can actually help you <laughs> during missions. And there are the guns for hire, which is uh, which are, well, simple folk. Not entirely useless. I'm not going to be too harsh on them, but they are not uh, <laughs> exactly what you'll find. Hey, deputy. Ain't no use trying to leave the island right now. The fog is bad this time of year. And you'll just end up turned around. It'll burn off in a bit. Uh, it seems I was going the wrong way. Sorry for that. Let me a bit, get a bit closer. Alright, so now we're closing into the docks. Let's see what our opposition looks like. I think it's only those two guys. It's gonna be easy. Half the fun in this game, for me at least personally, is um, doing this stealthily. Like, I really love to uh, take everybody out without anybody noticing. It's not always... Uh, possible. Should we do a prepper stash just to show you? Alright, I'm gonna show you one prepper stash and then never show to you one again because that might be boring, but the first one can be actually quite exciting because you're finding treasure, man. What's better than that? <laughs> Alright, so it's down here. Will these guys see me? Alright, so now... Inside, there's usually a bunch of useful shit that's been squirreled away. 
Alright, so we are inside the search zone. We are searching for a way inside here. Now, this is the first pepper stash, so it's pretty easy to guess what you have to do. You can see kind of that there's a uh, underwater passage there, so let's do that. Sometimes it's much more involved than that, though. What you usually have to do is get into a place that's not easy to access and flip a switch and then you're good to go. In this case, we can get the key and unlock. Uh, where was it? The door. Let me find this. Now it's just uh, getting back to the original spot because we provided electricity to it. Power lines can be a cool indicator of where you need to go, by the way. The game can be realistic that way. So you need power, you follow the power lines and you know what building you should be looking in. Now we can open this. Oh, actually, wait a sec. <laughs> we need to clear out this water. Pump it out more exact. And once the water clears out, we can break this. And this is one stash. That's how it looks like. You usually find a bunch of magazines and uh, where are they? There's the money. If you're looking to make a bigger impression, you may want to build some dynamite. Luckily, folks around here have been stockpiling all the materials you might need. So just grab them up and get crafting. All right, now let's go save that hostage, which is actually a main story mission. So you see... Sometimes you liberate guys and they are simple civilians. Sometimes they have information for you, like the whereabouts of a stack. <clears throat> and sometimes they are resistance members, which means they can join forces with you. I could do this very stealthily, I think. And consider yourself, yourself you. rescued, sir. I'm going after that cult twice as hard now. And you're going with me. Well, now we can hire him. Happy to lend a helping hand. And he will stick with us. These guys can actually level up. Now that you're partnered up, the two you should head to the forest research station. Cult's been crawling all over that place, using it as a depot for their goddamn bliss. Clear them all out. Send a message. We're not fucking around anymore. We sure ain't. By the way, that bliss he's referring to, you're gonna hear this uh, throughout the game. This is the local drug that the bad guys are producing. Making a move. Oh, uh, this is actually my chance to go in and kill that guy stealthily. No, somebody's watching me. Wasn't there another guy back here? If I die, I'm going out. With oh! Emphasis on was. <laughs> all right, and I know how this we have is. all but liberated. Peggy's won't be back after the ass whooping you just laid on him. While you're there, check around and see if any folks are left alive. Okay, let's check this out. Guns for Hire, that's just a game uh, showing us that we can order them. I can tell him go there. Understood. See, or I can recall him. I'm right Comes behind. back to me. Simple as that. You're now let's busy. liberate the hostages and be on our way. I'm impressed. You're an angel. There's more fighting you than I thought. You got a real shot at setting up this resistance. Next step is clearing up the radio signal. My CB's on the fritz. I can't get a hold of anyone off this island. The radio tower near the south shore must be busted. You think you can take care of that for me? Sure can. So, next up, let's go to the radio tower. 
All right, so now we're closing in. By the way, this is not gonna be like the previous Far Cry games where you climb towers everywhere. <laughs> this is just a uh, select few, let's call them. All right, now this first tower actually has a ladder. It's only got the firepower we grew up with. We get a lot of the good stuff from raiding Peggy's. Which is usually not the case. Usually you have to grapple onto them with your trusty grapple hook. But uh, since the game doesn't know... That was a little inside joke from Ubisoft. They know, they absolutely know that players hate climbing towers. <laughs> in the previous two games, so they are making this clear right now. You're not climbing anymore. <laughs> All right, and with that, we liberated Thatcher's Island. Deputy, I'm getting a strong signal now. Let's open up your map. I'll walk you through what I'm hearing. All right, then. So we can see the whole county. Now this is a small island we just were this entire episode. Now Hope County is divided into three regions. To the north you got the Whitetail Mountains. It's run by Jacob Seed, oldest brother of that fucking family. Jacob's the one training the cult, and he's damn good at what he does. Eli and the Whitetail Militia have been trying to hold out, but Jacob's ready to step on their necks. Southeast of there you got the Henbane River. That's Faith's territory. The little sister. I've heard all sorts of stories about people losing their minds in a place called the Bliss. Now, head west to the Holland Valley. John Seeds just rolled in there and has taken everything in the name of the cult. Food, supplies, and worst of all, people. Now, they're gonna have plenty more calls all over the county. I'll keep you posted on anything that'll be useful. All right, so there you have it. Three regions, three bosses, three brothers and sisters, and one central region where the game starts and, well, something is gonna happen there too. I'm not gonna tell you what though. <laughs> Keep you the suspense. Alright, so, let's spec a main mission now. Sam, which means we can get you off this island. Sit tight, shouldn't be much longer. Alright, and so we start our journey into the land of Far Cry 5. Thank you for watching guys, remember to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this episode, and I will catch you in the next one.